So it should be no surprise to you guys that I'm getting really further into series shortcuts. I've done quite a few videos on it already, and just the more and more I get into it, the more and more I'm skewing more towards applications that have better shortcut support. As far as task managers go, the best task managers with shortcut support is the Reminders app. Um, there's really not a whole lot to it. The app, that is, of course, but the actual shortcut support, which I'll show you guys in a bit, is really good. Not only can you put stuff into your task manager, but you can also take it out, which is really important to me. I have been very, very impressed with how the shortcut support with Reminders works. But the app itself lacks, well, it lacks any sort of pro user or customizability or anything that actually could be useful. So uh, I have been using an app called Good Task. And what Good Task is, is it's essentially a front end for reminders. It doesn't use its own syncing service. It doesn't do something different, like something like OmniFocus or things. It literally is just a front end for reminders. So I went ahead and cleared out everything so we can kind of start fresh with this one. So you can see this is completely empty here. And then I'll go ahead and open up Good Task. See, same thing, all that we have is one project called Reminders. So this has been a really interesting experiment to do. I've really been enjoying Good Tasks as a task manager because of its level of customizability. Literally anything you can think of, you can change and make it the way you want it in this. I have not found a setting or something I wanna do with this that I haven't been able to make it my own. So let's take a look at building out Good Tasks first. So I just made one project in here because you have to have a minimum of one project in reminders and won't let you delete everything so i have this project in here called reminder so if you wanted to just have one project and make a list of all of your tasks you could absolutely do that you can come down here in the bottom right hand corner hit this plus button fill out a task we'll say um go to the store. The stuff right underneath here, this is the contextual menu. This is kind of like essentially smart buttons that you allow you to just like quickly configure it. So you could tag it with, you know, to do later, or you could tell it to do it tomorrow at 9 a.m. Or you can tell it to do uh, in 30 minutes or whatever. These right here are completely customizable in the settings. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do that in a bit. But these are really handy if you have kind of specific tasks or specific things you do at a certain time or you know you're constantly just wanting to like make something that's just due tomorrow or due in three days or whatever this is where you do that to just quickly hit a button and it'll configure it now if you swipe over this is the more manual setting so you here you can change the due date so we can change this to uh you know set a different time we can set to 4 30 we can set an alert then so that we get a push notification then there's the auto snooze option. So basically what this will do is it'll keep bugging you until you actually go and do the task. So you can kind of see how it is. So every minute, five times, or every five minutes, five times, it'll send a notification. There's a custom option. This is kind of like the app do, D-U-E, where it keeps sending you notification after notification until you tell it that you've done the task. Now, you, I guess you could always technically lie and say you've done the task, but then you would be defeating the purpose of this feature. Uh, repeat option, that's pretty standard for any task manager. You can just set, if it's something you need to repeat, you can do that. Location, you can actually set it to remind you when you get to a place or leave a place. I'm not going to hit it because then you guys will see my address and uh, nobody nobody wants to see my address. So uh, just know you can hit location. You can set it to either when I arrive or when I leave a place. Then you could do priority. So that's pretty standard for a task manager, you know, kind of important, super important, super ultra end of the world important kind of thing. And then um, underneath that, you have lists here. So if we had more than one project, we could hit this and pick it from. But right now, we only have reminders. And then down here, you can add tags. So it's just, you know, uh, store or whatever. You can just add whatever tag you want. So that way, you can search or sort by tags later on. We'll swipe over one more panel, and this is subtasks. So our task is go to the store. But what are we getting at the store? Well, I need to get steak. Uh, then we'll hit add more. I need to get butter add more and I need to get some uh, Diet Coke because uh, you know what's life without Diet Coke okay 
so there's that. So we can hit that. So now we have our main task, which is go to the store. And then we need to get steak, butter, Diet Coke. So we can go through here and um, kind of mark off a couple of these, like as we pick them up, or we can just hit done and it'll add the task to our reminders. Just like any typical reminders app, you can hit this button right here and it'll mark the whole task as complete. So that's kind of the basics to it. If you just wanted one project right there, that's that's it. That's all you need. But if you wanted more, what you could do is you could hit this button in the bottom left corner, hit reminders list, and you can type out something. So I like to have one that's for personal stuff. Then you can also do um, hit another one. I like to have one for a day job. Uh, video projects. And my podcast, we'll do one last one for my podcast, A Slab of Glass. Okay, so you can see they added them all here, uh, and there's breaks in between all of them. That's by default, there's breaks. But what you can do is you can drag and drop them, and you can snap them together. So these are kind of the, the general projects that I like to have. I don't like to have too many projects. If you're wasting time thinking about what project a task needs to go into, you have too many projects in your task manager. So I like to keep them as vague as possible, but different. Uh, so I have stuff about my personal life, stuff about my day job, stuff about videos, and stuff about my podcast. The other thing I like to do is I do like to have one list or project as kind of an inbox for where I just dump everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit this reminders one. We could delete it, we could swipe and just delete it, but we're gonna hit edit and we're gonna change the title to inbox. So I like to add all my tasks to the inbox. The great thing about a task manager is you can handle it any way you want. I like to add stuff to the inbox so I can quickly dump it in there and then a couple times a day I go through and just put everything in its proper place, give everything you know the due times and things like that. Um, so we could do inbox. You can also change the color. You probably notice the color to the left side of the title of the project. We could actually come in here and change the color and do all sorts of cool things with it. Uh, let's make it a little more orange. Uh, done. You could come in here and set the default view to list day, week, month. I'll show you guys that a little bit more in just a bit. You can change sort options so you can change how stuff is prioritized. I typically like due date. So that means it's due date, then undated stuff, and then calendar events. Good Test does a lot of stuff with calendar events if you want to give it calendar access. You absolutely don't have to if you prefer to have a separate calendar like Fantastical or something else. Personally, for me, I like to keep all of this stuff in one place. Like it's been really handy just to have it all here. So I'm gonna I like to set it this way. Then we can say calendars. If we want something specific, I could tell it what calendar. I only have one calendar here on my iPad, so we'll include the um, the personal one, or we could have just set it to all. And then on dated tasks, this will basically sh say when do we show tasks that do not have a due date? You can set them to only be in list or you can set them to be in the other views, which I'll show you guys in just a bit. So we're gonna go ahead and hit done. So you can see it changes the inbox. Our color's now orange. We have the other ones underneath it. That's kind of how I like to do things. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill out a few tasks here so we have some stuff to show off. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill that out really quick. Okay, so I went ahead and filled out a few things in my task manager here. So I left one thing in the inbox so you can kind of see that I have something there. Personal, we filled out a few things in here. I left day job blank, work on good task video and video project. And then for a slab of glass, we have work on show prep. So this is kind of the basics of my task manager. I do like to do a few other things though here in Good Tasks. So you might have saw when I was adding the reminders list, we can also add smart list. Now what smart lists are is they're not really like reminders list. They're not projects. They're not a place we can put stuff. They're more of a filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a smart list here. And from the smart list, I'm gonna call this one next three days. Um, we could change the icon if we want. We could change the color. We could change the sort options. All that stuff we kind of took a look at. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to add new filter. And we're going to say is scheduled. Scheduled within n days. And then we're going to say three. So what this will do is it'll take a look at any tasks that are scheduled within the next three days. And then we could do a count so we could limit it. But I'm not going to. We're just going to hit this right here. 
So it adds it right down here. So you can see right now, here's all the tasks that are due in the next three days. Um, we can make another one here. So we'll do this all plus seven days. So what we're gonna do is make a smart list that takes all of the tasks that are due within the next seven days, plus the ones that don't have any dates whatsoever. So uh, let's go ahead and add a filter. So what we're gonna do is, uh, there's these two options right, right up here, and or or. So if we did and, all the filters would have to match. Uh, so it has to be undated and be in a certain project or be in a certain project with a specific date or whatever. But we're gonna do or. So we're gonna have the type to be undated as one. So we have this one, un so we have undated. And then we're gonna add another filter. And we're gonna change it to scheduled. Scheduled within N days. And we're gonna say seven days. So we'll come back, hit okay. So now we have all of the tasks, including the ones that do not have due dates that are due within the next seven days. So pretty cool. You can build a lot of stuff with these features. We'll come in here to filters. Um, there's a lot of options in here that you can do. So um, you can pretty much play around and make any sort of filter you want. I haven't been able to think of something that I couldn't make that I wanted. So um, that's pretty cool. I, I'm pretty happy with that. So that's kind of the basics right there of uh, building these smart filters. Now, what you can do is these other buttons down here at the bottom row. So this one that's highlighted right here, this is the list view. If we come over here, this is the day view. So this is everything that's either due today or uh, doesn't have a date assigned to it. Because if you remember earlier, we said we want the undated ones to show up there as well. Then we have week view plus the ones that are not dated and then month view plus the ones that aren't dated. So that's pretty much just the basics of navigating through good tasks right here. You can really move around with these so you can see the specifics of what you want, build filters, build out projects. Um, overall, it's a very robust task manager. Now, if you come in here to this menu option, there's a few things in here. You can edit the list, you can share the list, you can change the sort options, book actions, whatever. Uh, refresh list memo is kind of cool you can kind of set a note up here at the top so next seven days it'll just say whatever you want it's just a good way of, of adding a note to a project so that you either know exactly what the details are of that project or if you just need to put a quick note down that's not really a task up here in the top left, here's a search option. There's a lot of really good features in here. It's really good search. Um, it'll also search completed uh, tasks as well. So you can actually see down here, uh, go to the store, which we marked completed earlier, it's, it shows up as well. So if you need to look for old tasks, maybe you have a URL or something in there, it's really handy to have. The bulk action, that's one other thing I wanna show you guys. You can come in here, if you do something, you can select all delete them, check them as done. If you want to just mass, you know, get rid of stuff, you can as well. Um, you can change a few of the contacts and stuff in here as well. So settings is where good task gets really crazy. There's a lot in here. In fact, I'm not going to even be able to cover it all because there's just way too much. We're going to come in here to two uh, quick actions. This was the thing I was talking about earlier in that first menu when you add a task. There's a lot of cool stuff you could do in here and then you can come in here and you can add one. It's just like making a filter. You just pick what you want. You can say what the alert is. The alert is on and then you can just there you go. It's it's really great, really straightforward, super simple to make. I'm I'm I really like the uh, the contacts menu. Most of the stuff in here is the default, and it just worked out perfect for me because that's what I wanted. There's a lot of other stuff in here, like you can kind of play with what the today widget is and all that stuff. There's so much stuff in here. I recommend just going through and playing with it. Uh, I'm going to move on and let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Siri shortcut support now. 
So I'll link all the shortcuts I talk about in the description below, but this is one of the ones right here. This is a shortcut I use so that I can get subtasks to work. Um, basically, if you wanna kind of make this your own, you can just replace where I have stuff written. So like write outline, write script, finalize script. You can just replace that, leave the zeros, leave the quotes, and this will get you uh, subtasks working in good tasks. Um, what it will do though is when it runs, it will ask you for the title. So this is, this is probably the shortcut I use the most with good tasks because there's so many subtasks it would be painful to have to write that every single time i came up with a video idea so this is another shortcut that i got right here uh this will actually just tell me one task of what's up next to do so this will take a look at all my list it'll then filter out the projects that i don't need or that i'm not looking at it'll make sure the due date is today and the title does not contain take meds which i have two reoccurring tasks every day to remind me to take my meds then it'll count it it'll do an if statement if there is nothing then it'll say i'm done for the day if there is something it'll tell me the title the due date and what project it belongs to so let's run it really quick so it tells me I need to clean my house, project is personal. This is the brain dump shortcut right here. This allows me to just take a bunch of tasks, get them out of my head and put them right down. So if I run this, it'll ask me for input and I can just put a bunch of stuff down. I'm just gonna put a bunch of food stuff cause I'm getting hungry. Um, and so what'll happen is for each one of these, that's own separate line. So what will happen is the split text will split each item into a new line and then add each one individually. So you can come down here and we have three different tasks that got added. So this one's my personal favorite. I run this one every morning. Basically this will get the weather, the calendar and all my tasks for the day. So if we run it right here, you can see the high, the low, the chance of rain, what's on my calendar. I don't have anything on my calendar. Uh, and then any tasks that are due today, but you know, I'm recording this kind of late. So this would normally be quite a bit bigger. So who should be using Good Task? Well, Good Task is for power users that want to get the most out of their task manager. It has excellent customizability. And since it sits on top of Apple's Reminders app, it has great shortcut support. I think if you are all in on iOS devices and you're somebody that works on multiple projects, Good Tasks is for you. I can't stress enough, you can customize almost anything and everything about this app. I highly recommend it and I can't sing its praises high enough. Thank you for watching and have a great day.